eight signs your ex is still in love with you. This is what we're going to cover today in this video. And as a relationship therapist, it's very important for me to tell you, I don't help people falling in love. Um, and also very frequently, people are still in love when they break up. So the whole point of a relationship recovery is making sure that we fix what was broken. But it's not about making your partner fall in love with you, because usually that person is still in love with you. And that's what we'll discuss in this video. Jingle. I get my ex back .com. Everyone deserves a second chance. The first sign is they keep in touch. In a way, if they broke up with you, they have no reason to stay in touch with you. They have no reason to know what you're up to. They have no reason to, you know, give any news, give any updates, know what you're up to. Now, on those signs that I forgot to mention, if you don't see any of those signs, if, for instance, you're not in touch with your ex, that doesn't mean your ex is not in love with you. But if any of those signs, any of those eight signs, and if you have more than one, that's perfect. You can see clearly, ah, okay, I can take this one. Then it's a clear sign that your ex is still in love with you. So they keep in touch. They have the desire to maintain contact. It's a sign that it's very hard for them to let go of the relationship. So there's something uh, behind. Now, the second one, they show interest in your life. So they're interested again. Um, maybe they don't, they're not in touch with you. Maybe they're doing through mutual friends, but you know that they are curious about what you're up to. Maybe you've started a phase of no contact and right away you see them reacting to your life. This is again a sign and it's very hard for them to let go of this relationship. Third one, it's a classic one. It's a very powerful one. It's the idea of unfinished business. It's very hard for people. It's very hard for, you know, brain as well to feel that to stop something where we feel we haven't finished it. Um, when we start a task and we don't finish it, then it, it stays a little bit stuck in our mind, in our unconscious mind. And so if you've started projects, if you had things in the future, if you know you never really finished a conversation with your ex, trust me, your ex will think the same and will feel in a way, ah, I felt it was not working. I felt not satisfied in this relationship, but in a way, deep inside, there's something telling me that maybe there's something we could have done. Maybe there's something missing that we could uh, work out. And this is very powerful if you feel that there is this situation of unfinished business with your ex. Fourth one, a very practical one, a very clear one. They haven't returned your things. Um, and this is, you can explain it in a way with a bit of a Psychology is like when you want to break up with someone, when you want to move on, you also move everything outside of your life. And so physical things, items, stuff uh, that they keep from you, if they decide to keep them, it means that, again, it's very hard for them to let go. They want to keep something reminding them of the relationship and therefore they look at the relationship with fondness and potentially they still, still have strong feelings for you. Also, keeping stuff is a way for them to leave the door open. Because when you say, okay, I, there is this sweater, his favorite sweater at home. I'm going to keep it just in case if I need to reach out to him or to her, I have an excuse. Because they've seen this sweater at their place. They have many opportunities to return this but they didn't. So they made the conscious effort to keep it at their place. So this one is extremely powerful as well. It sounds very like a detail, but it's definitely not a detail. The fifth one is nothing compares to your relationship. If you look at their relationship history, if you look at uh, the partners they had before you, you know this relationship was transformative. You know this relationship was different. And when it happens, when you have this sort of what I call life-changing, life-defining relationships, you don't, you can't move on that quickly. You can't leave a relationship and feel like moving on or fall in love right away. It's impossible. What happens in those cases is people are still in love. They have a lot of resentment, potentially. They are, they are depressed, they are sad because it's not working out, because they don't get what they were hope, what they hoped for, or perhaps some of you crossed the boundaries of the other, etc. In other words, it didn't work out, but they still feel a form of regret. 
even if they decided to end the relationship. So it's very important for you to assess, looking at the different partners, looking at your history, looking at your relationship objectively, whether this relationship was unique for them. Um, I put together a quiz uh, where you can also assess this uh, for free in the description. Six one, they try to make you jealous. So it's a classic one. <laughs> they will try to show on social media and we're gonna discuss at the last point that they have an amazing life, that uh, they moved on, that they, have, they are hanging out with good looking people. When you are done with someone, you don't make any effort to make that person react. Um, the worst thing that could happen for you is if your ex is indifferent towards you. As soon as you see something where your ex tries to make you react, that's a sign, that's a sign that there's something going on. So it could be perceived that, okay, they moved on, they, but if you, you know your ex very well, you know when they try to make you jealous. And if that's the case, it's a sign because they want you to react. They want you to do something. They want you to show something to them. So obviously it really depends on cases and I don't want to give you like, you know, if they make you just <laughs> show up to their place and tell them you love them, but it's a sign that there's something going on and perhaps try to uh, test the water with their friends, with their family and so on. Seven, family and friends. They are telling you, oh yeah, she's un unhappy, he's depressed. Um, we, uh, it's been a while that we, uh, we haven't seen you. You see their friends trying to sort of see where you are, see if you're dating someone, you know, get news. You understand that they are kind of sent by your ex-partner to know a little bit more about yourself. And that's a sign that it's very hard for your partner not to have any news from you. It's also very hard for your partner or it's a way for your partner to send messages across, to really test the water. Because obviously, the process of getting back with an ex, if you took the decision to end the relationship, you're always scared of rejection. So there's an element you have to understand that if, for instance, you went no contact and your ex wants to get back with you, they're gonna be scared to reach out. They're gonna be scared that you will reject them in return. And so they would find ways, strategies, to get a little bit of clarity. And sometimes they would use their friends or family. And the last one is social media activity and I put a little mark because I don't want you to obsess because I know people do that on the, you know, interpreting the stories, the likes, the, the posts, etc. On this one, I just want you to analyze whether there's a change in behavior, whether you know your, you know, your ex is an introvert, he or she doesn't like to go out, but out of nowhere, now they're going out every single day. Every single day, they, you know, they, they show something that's different. And in a way, they are, it seems that they are actively trying to do something, trying to keep busy to distract themselves because of the pain of the breakup. Because in a way, it's hard for them to leave this relationship. And when it's hard again, we're back to this. They are not indifferent to what you had. If you want to have a complete guide on how to get back with your ex, I created a complete guide of eight steps the link is in the description, it's completely free. Have a look, it's a big video and I've decided to release it for free. So help yourself, brew yourself some coffee, take your time, watch the whole video and let me know in the comment section how it goes. Take care.